Hey guys, so in the last tutorial we had set up our IKs. So now you can see our all our our left arm, our right arm, our right leg and our left leg have an IK. Now what I've done here is I've um, I've basically made these two pieces of cloth visible again. And what we want to do in this tutorial is we want to add a bone to this cloth so that when we move this leg this piece of cloth moves with it but it doesn't move exactly uh, it doesn't follow th uh, the exact rotation of uh, this uh, our right leg it just uh, rotates a at an offset so what I mean by that is I'll show you I've uh, done what I, I've uh, I've basically uh, done what I wanted to show you over here with this piece of cloth over here now when you um, click this IK constraint and you move it you see that as the leg moves there's a slight movement to the cloth as well and this really uh, helps speed up the animation process a bit more since we don't have to separately rotate the cloth that goes over the right leg or, or sorry that goes over the left leg and we want to do the same uh, we want to do the same with uh, with this piece of cloth here we want that when we rotate our uh, right leg we want this um, piece of cloth to rotate slightly as well and this is how we go about it first we select this piece of cloth here now you will notice if you go on the tree view here and if you select the bones as well that uh, that this uh, right underscore leg underscore cloth the attach this slot here does not really have a bone associated a separate bone associated to it so right now it's associated to the to the body bone however this piece of cloth here is associated to its own bone what we first want to do is first we want to move this like so and now we want to create a bone for uh, this piece of cloth as well and we want uh, the we want that new bone that we create to be a child of our body bone so we select the body bone we click on create and we hold down control and we select this piece of cloth here and we create a bone for it great now what do we want now we want that when we move this uh, this IK uh, constraint we want uh, our, our uh, this piece of cloth to move uh, with it so uh, what we would uh, what we need to do now is add a transform constraint to this bone here to this bone here to our right underscore leg underscore cloth bone and this is how you do that you select that bone you make sure that uh, your bones are blue over here and now you go to the bones property over here and uh, this these are the bones properties and uh, over here in new you you click new and you click on transform constraint and now you want to pick the target uh, what you want this uh, bone to be constrained to so you we in this case we want our uh, this bone to be constrained to this bone here so we just pick it and what we can do now is we can uh, write the name R cloth transform this this can be our name and we just click OK and all of a sudden you realize that uh, it's no longer it's no longer in the place that it ought to be in so what's happening here um, right now uh, over here we can uh, see the properties of our over the new transform constraint that we had created and uh, if you don't see the, uh, these properties what you can do is you can go on constraints over here expand and then just uh, click here on the new constraint uh, 
the new transform constraint that you created and there you go you can see all the properties now what you want to do is uh, you want to first you want to decrease the value to zero all the sliders were linked so I was moving one slider and all of them were moving together uncheck link sliders now you want the rotate offset you want uh, now basically what you want is when this uh, move uh, this uh, bone moves or rotates this uh, bone should rotate as well but it should not rotate it should rotate with an offset or rather uh, it should not uh, follow uh, the 100% rotation of this bone so basically if this rotates this bone here rotates to 10 degrees this bone here should ro rotate to maybe 3 degrees or if this bone here rotates to 180 degrees maybe this bone here should only rotate to 25 degrees so you just select the new constraint by going uh, the new constraint that you created by going to constraints over here and then selecting the constraint and over here in rotate just increase the value of the rotation and now over in, in the offset menu over here you just move the slider so it's back in its original position and ba it's back in the position that you want it to you see what's going on when I rotate the slider so you just want it to be around yeah this looks nice now when we select this uh, our IK for the right leg uh, our right leg IK and we move it you can see that it does rotate with the with our leg but it does not rotate a uh, hundred percent so for example for every one for a, every 10 degree uh, that our right leg is moving this uh, our skirt is maybe rotating uh, three degrees or one degree now what we want to do is we don't want uh, we want we want this part here to be stuck to this part here and we will just add a quick mesh to it so we select this attachment here we click on mesh here we click on edit mesh and this is what we do we just create a new mesh if you guys don't know how to create a new mesh I did a tutorial on that you can just uh, view that tutorial we want to make a simple mesh for this this is good enough we want to delete this vertex here now we want to click here to exit out of the edit mesh window now what you want to do is you want to create click on weights you want to click on bind make sure your uh, uh, your uh, right skirt is uh, selected and now what you want to do is you want to click on this bone here and this bone here and just uh, click here on bind now click on weights over here now what you want to do is you want to select this yellow bone this yellow bone here and yeah you want to select this yellow bone here and now you want to increase the influence of this yellow bone on these two vertex vertices over here like so and we can just uh, click here on translate once we've done that and now when we move the now when we move the leg you can see that the edges of the skirt are glued to this bone while the rest of the skirt moves with our legs and the same is the case with both our legs our skirts are moving with the legs but their tips are tied or are glued to the torso bone so that was that was it uh, for our uh, tutorial on transform constraints if you don't understand anything uh, just play around uh, 
with this and uh, if you still don't understand anything just let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching hey guys so in this tutorial I will be adding a mesh to this leg over here so that when we move these bones uh, this image over here deforms with them so this is how you uh, create a mesh you select the image that you want to uh, make a mesh on uh, you go over here click on the image over here and then uh, just uh, check this box, uh, box titled mesh now uh, click on edit mesh and now you can uh, start to create the mesh that you want uh, click create and then just uh, yeah make a basic outline there you go this is our mesh uh, let's just modify this a bit and now we can delete the vertices that we don't want right now you can see that we have uh, 19 vertices in, the, uh, in this mesh so just click delete and we don't want this vertex, uh, vertex here nor do we want these and now we've reduced our mesh to around 15 vertices so once you're happy with your mesh uh, just click uh, here on edit mesh again and now now what you want to do is you want to click on you want to assign uh, weights to this mesh so for example uh, right now when you rot rotate this leg nothing really happens you want to uh, assign bo uh, the three of these bones to this mesh over here um, a simple way to do that or the way to do that would be go on weights over here and if you don't see weights over here you can just uh, click here in your views and uh, right now my weights is, glue, uh, is grayed out because it's already selected but uh, if uh, you don't see it just click here and it will appear here somewhere so yeah just uh, click on weights click the object uh, that you created a mesh on uh, or the PNG that you made a mesh out of so there you go we have that selected now go here on bind bind the attachment to bones so it is affected by the bones vertex weights so yeah just click here on uh, bind and uh, it says choose uh, bones to bind to the attachment so just select the three bones that you want to uh, bind to this attachment one two and uh, three now once you have these three bones selected they will appear here now just uh, click on bind again and now uh, it will calculate the weights for you uh, spine will calculate uh, the weights for you this takes a bit of time so just be patient now that spine has done the work for us let's see how our mesh uh, performs so if we select this bone and we rotate it this mesh this leg should move with this uh, with this bone as well and there you go let's just hide this so we can have a better look and let's rotate our leg
So yeah, there you go. Uh, that's how you create a mesh and that's how you bind the mesh that you created to the bones that you want to bind it to. Uh, this takes some trial. This method takes uh, a bit of trial and error. Uh, you get good at it with practice. Uh, so just keep on practicing and uh, we need to uh, do this with uh, the right leg as well. So I'll do that. Uh, and uh, get back to you in the third tutorial or in the next tutorial rather so thanks for uh, watching again uh, this will take a lot of practice so, and if you don't understand anything just uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you on that so thanks